Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your Total Body Tabata Strength and Cardio Workout. What you're going to need today, dumbbells. Whatever you have, grab them. For reference, I have a pair of 15s and 10s, but you and I are different, so grab a pair that feels challenging but doable for you. You will also need a very light mini band. Make it light because it will be going around right above your wrist for upper body work. And lastly, you'll need a mat, hydration, and possibly a towel around as well. Here's today's format. Tabata, so 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I also grouped the exercises in triceps today, so I want you to think about having three exercises at a time. So exercise one, rest. Exercise two, rest exercise three rest and then we repeat that we have three rounds per exercise so that's only 60 seconds of work for each exercise today we are repeating the exercises and repeating is a good thing a because the work time is short today so we're going to have to repeat rounds to fatigue the muscles and B we want to fatigue the muscles to get strong to make that change happen we will be getting the heart rate up today every exercise today is low impact so there's no jumping low impact doesn't mean low intensity though you control the intensity of this workout with your speed with your pace with your dumbbell resistance selection all right so let's just grab all our stuff and let's get to work your first tricep is your warm-up tricep. So go ahead, place your band right above your wrist and come to a tabletop or quadruple position. Extend the left leg long, keep the hip stable, engage deep core, and then lift that left heel towards the sky. Tuck chin, pull high pony towards the front of the room. And then you're taking that right hand to the side and then back in. So it's hand is right underneath the shoulder, to the side, back in. All right, this is our first exercise. We begin in three, two, in one, let's go. It's only 20 seconds today. Last three, two, and one. Shake it out, roll out those wrists if needed. Other side is next. Extend right leg, lift right heel, square off the hips, engage deep core, and left hand out and in. Let's go, 20 seconds. Last three, two, and one. Now we're coming to a modified plank. We have push-ups. Keep those elbows in tight. So we're going to hit your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps. Core stays tight, and let's go. Last rep. Nice, all right, now we go back to that right side, roll out your wrist if needed. Left foot goes up, left heel goes up, square off the hip. Now we're taking it back at an angle. So instead of directly out to the side, go back at an angle. And now we're gonna get those lat muscles just saying hello. Warming up the lats, still warming up the shoulders, warming up the core. Keep those hips nice and level. Last three, two, and one. Roll out those wrists if needed. Take it back, other side. Right leg goes up, left hand moves. Take it down and back at that angle. Last three, two, and one. This time, back to those push-ups. We go down, off the knees. We push up on the knees. Let's go, take it down off the knees, release the knees on, press off. So go down with knees off, release, knees on. Last three, two, and one. Final round, and then we're getting to our good stuff. All right, this is pretty challenging though too. All right, take it back to the right side, and we alternate side and then down at the angle. So straight to the side, down at the angle. To the side, at an angle.
last three, two and one. Nice work. We take it to the other side, final round. Right foot goes up, square off the hips, engage deep core, to the side at an angle. Last three, two, and one. It is starting to burn. That means we're starting to get warm, right? Okay, back to those push-ups. This time, off the knees completely. If needed, do a previous version. This is your workout. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Release that band for now. We're taking it to some dumbbell front squats. You can do this first round with lighter weights if you want. I'm gonna grab 15s. We take it down, take it up nice and slow for three, two, one, pause, then drive it up. So not only are we hinging at the knees, I also want you to hinge back a little bit at the hips so we can really hit your glutes as well. Core stays tight throughout. Last three, two, and one. Awesome, we take it to our shoulder press, pronated grip. Slow and controlled to start. Let's go, drive it up. Take it down for three, two, one. Keep your core tight. Do not swing those hips to get the dumbbells up. If you have to drive the hips up like that, lighten the weight. Last three, two, and one. Nice. Next up, we have neutral grip half thrusters. All right. Take it down that squat. Use the lower body to drive the dumbbells up. Slow and control to start. So three, two, one. Drive it up. Three, two, one. Drive it up. Last rep, last three, two, and one. Nice work. Back to those squats. This time, we had a quarter rep at the bottom. We go in three, two, one. Take it down, quarter rep, bring it up. Really rip the mat apart with your feet to get those glutes fired up. Last rep, nice work. All right, back to those shoulder presses. This time, quarter rep at the bottom. Let's go. Quarter rep at the bottom, drive it up. Core stays tight. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Thrusters are next, quarter rep at the bottom. Let's go. Last rep. Nice work. All right, back to those shoulder presses. Excuse me, squats, <laughs> normal tempo. Here we go, normal tempo squats. Let's go. Last three, two, one, recover, final round, shoulder press, normal tempo. Let's go. Three, 
two and one. Nice work, full thrusters, normal tempo. Grab those dumbbells, neutral grip. Let's go, final round. one nice work all right next up we will be doing a unilateral movement on the right clean to press so we use the lower body to drive it up we use the lower body to drive it up again reset and go lower body brings that dumbbell up lower body brings that dumbbell up and your core is working to help to stabilize and recover. Other side is next. We go in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Body weight only. Squat to reach, heels up, engage those calf muscles. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. We repeat, let's go. Right side first, clean the press. Let's get it. Last three, two, and one, recover. Other side is next. Let's go. And recover. Body weight squat to reach is next. Let's go. Heels up. Squeeze those calves on the way up. Last three. Two and one. We repeat one last time. In the press, let's do it. Last rep and recover, other side. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Squat to reach is next, and then it's something new. Let's go.
Last three, two, and one. Dumbbell snatches next. Keep the dumbbell tight to the body. Right side first. Let's go. Use the lower body to drive that dumbbell up. I'm gonna give you a different view. Use the lower body to drive that dumbbell up. It stays tight throughout. So like you're doing an upright row, and then at the very last second, you flip the grip. Last rep. Nice, other side is next. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Sumo squat, dumbbell sumo squat to a body weight calf raise. All right, <laughs> this one's tricky, but we got it. So grab the dumbbell, one sumo squat, release the dumbbell, calf raise. Sumo squat, release, body weight calf raise. Grab it, release it. Last rep and recover. We start from the top, snatch, snatch, and then that exercise, all right? Let's go. Last three, two, one. Nice. Other side is next. Let's go. Last rep and recover. Sumo squat, dumbbell sumo squat to body weight, sumo squat calf raise. Feel free to just hang on to that dumbbell as well. It's totally an option. It's a more challenging option. Let's make a run together. I'll be by your side before we collide. Last rep, recover. One more round. We start right side, left side, bilateral. Here we go, let's do it. Keep your spine neutral. If you are rounding the spine, and then going into flexion extension the whole time. You're gonna feel it in your back. Keep your deep core turned on. That corset muscle, your transverse abdominal muscle to help stabilize the spine. Just bring awareness to it. Lighten the load if needed. Last three, two, and one. Nice dumbbell sumo squat to a calf raise. We go in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Next up, reverse lunge to a curl. Ground with the right foot first. So right foot stays forward, left foot goes back. Neutral grip, so take it down, curl it up. Lunge it back, drive through that right foot, bring it back up. So you're gonna feel your right glute, right quad. Do a lot of work here. And then biceps at the very last second. 
three, two, one. We do this on the left, but now instead of a neutral grip, switch it to supinated. Here we go, lunge it back, curl it up. Lunge it back, flip from neutral to supinated. Last three, two, and one. All right, renegade row is next. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the knees for round one. Feel free to start there. But I'm gonna start with this version, and then we're gonna build. So we're working your lats, working the back, but we're also working your core. We're working on anti-rotation of the hip. So fight that urge to rotate open. Last three. Two, one, back from the top. Reverse lunge, neutral curl. Right foot forward, let's go. Back, then curl. Back, then curl. Last three. Two, and one. Next up, left side, flip from neutral to supinated. Let's go. Last three, two, one. Renegade row is next. This time I will be staying off my knees, but feel free to release the knees back on the mat. Here we go. Core stays tight and we row one at a time. Last three, two, one. Nice work. Back to the top, final round. Here we go, reverse lunge, neutral curl. Last three, two, and one. Ooh. Left side is next. Neutral to supinated. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Final round. Renegade rows, and then it's on to something new. Ooh, something new and fun. Let's go. Keep that core tight. Try to keep the movement in the hips as minimal as possible. Core stays turned on. Last three, two, one. All right. Oh, we're not done with that back yet. Now take your band, place it above your wrist, neutral grip row with the band. Hinge it forward and row. Last three, two, and one. Wow, okay, super bands are next. Come to your belly, palms face down. Bring it up and then down. Press out into the band at the top. Come on your body. 
Last three, two, and one. Bring it to your feet. We have face pulls next. Palms face down, drive it out, bring it in. Squeeze that upper back, bring it back in. Keep those traps down, keep the shoulders down and away from the ears. If needed, if you're feeling it more in the upper traps or your neck, I want you to take it down a little bit. Last three, two, one, from the top. Wow, <laughs> this is getting tough. Here we go. Send those hips back. Your chest is pretty close to facing the ground. So we want the spine pretty close to parallel to the ground below so we can target more of your back instead of your delts. If you're up here, you're gonna feel it in your delts and your upper trap. So hinge forward, send those hips back. Last three, two, and one. Wow, Superman's, when you go up, you're also pressing out. Let's go. And recover. Stand it up. <laughs> this is our cardio. Going from the ground to standing. Face pulls are next. Quarter rep. So palms face down. Quarter rep. Bring it back to center. Whew. Quarter rep. Bring it back to center. It's right towards that chin. So you're going a slight up to down angle. Last three. Two, one, final round. Grab your dumbbells. As we bring the dumbbells up, we're also pressing into the band. Wow, two for one here. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Down to the ground, Superman's final round. Let's go. Last rep and recover. Final round, face pulls, and then it's on to something new. Normal tempo. Last three, two, and one. Done with that band. Off to the side. Now we have a dumbbell reverse lunge to a side squat. So we're going to stabilize with the right side first and the left foot will take it back, tap, to the side, tap, back, to the side. And you can take those dumbbells out or in, totally up to you. Find which way you like better. Last three, two, and one. Other side is next. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Body weight exercises next. Squat to alternating knee in. I want you to feel those lower TAs, those lower abs help bring the knee in. Squat, knee in. Squat, knee in. Once you got it, start to add a little twist. Twist.
the last three. Two, one, back to the top. Here we go. Right foot grounds, left foot moves. Last three, two, and one. Recover, other side is next. Ground through the left foot. Step it back, left foot drives you up. 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 Good. Last three, two, and one. Recover, body weight squat, knee in is next. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Wow. From the top, final round. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Done with that side. Other side is next. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Dumbbells down. Huh. Pretty sure I'm done with those. 15 pounds now. Here we go. Squat to knee and alternate. You and I do not have to go at the same speed, same tempo at any point during this workout. Find a tempo that feels challenging for you. You may be going faster. You may be going slower. How are you feeling? Are you sounding like me? Try to talk back right now. If you're sounding like me, a little, a little out of breath, but you can carry on a conversation. That's a good sign. Here we go. Ooh. We have an eight, eight way raise the next. So one, two, three, flip it, triceps, back to the center, out to the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more rep. And nice work. Let's try to get at least three reps in there. Next up, four way raise. We just do the first two parts, then bring it out to center. Here we go. It's one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And recover. Next up, lateral raise, just up and down. Shoulders down, traps down, targeting the outer portion of your delt, medial delt. Let's go. And when you take it out to the side, I want you to think about pushing those dumbbells out to the side, but take it slightly in front of the body in the scapular plane. So instead of here, you'll feel it in your traps. Here, you'll feel it more in those delts. And recover, wow. Back to that eight-way raise. We had one little tricep extension into a six-way raise, which if you've done my workouts before, I know you've seen it. So take it up at the top, triceps down to center. So just when you do the triceps, make sure you flip it into that neutral grip and keep your hips still.
and recover. Nice. Four weight raises next. Working the outer and the anterior portion of the delt. Let's go, rep it out. Last three, two, and one. Wow, I about failed on that set. Okay, <laughs> wipe off the tears and the sweat, and let's go to those lateral raises. Up and down, let's go. And recover. Final round. Final round. Cardio, core, then we're done. Eight way race. Let's do it. Uh, you may have to lower the weights this third round. As the fatigue sets in, I don't have a lighter weight around. So I'm going to try to make do. And recover, nice work. My five pound dumbbells, I tried to have around. That's what I wanted to use for these, but I have one missing. So I only have one five pound dumbbell. And if you have kids, you just know, things just go missing sometimes. <laughs> you, just, you just roll with it. Last three, two, and one, sorry about the faces, but it burns, <laughs> it's hard. All right, what does it challenge us, does it change us? Come on, let's get those lateral raises. Last round, let's go, rep it out. Come on, we got this, last three, two, and one, all right. We're done with the dumbbells, yay. Done with the dumbbells, put them up. Next up, we have cardio. So we're gonna go up and over to that right side and bring the knee in, left knee goes in. I want you to twist like you're pulling a rope. So we're using those lower abs to drive it in. We're working the obliques as we twist and pull. Now, this is where I want you to find a piece that feels challenging for you. Last three. Two, one, other side is next. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. All right, next up we have ab twist. So keep the core tight, front of the core. Keep it tight, we twist. Every third rep, a knee goes in. Let's go. Three, two, one, three, two, one. In, in. Last three, two, and one. Nice. Back to the top. Repeaters, side repeaters. I'm gonna pick it up this round, but again, go at your own pace. You may be going faster than me, I don't know. Everyone is different, and I cannot stress that enough. With weight selection, with tempo, just where we're at in your fitness journey, and how you're feeling just today overall. So every day is gonna be different. In a year from now, it may be different. All right, other side, other side. Oh, I'm out of breath. How about you? We're gonna keep pushing though. Let's go. Last three, two, and 
one. Ab twist, knee goes in. Let's go ahead, feel that transverse abdominal engage. Start to twist, knee in. Last three, two, and one. Oh, that feels good. Core is connected. I'm gonna get three, set my back too. Feels amazing. Final round, all right? Up and over, let's go. You can do this. Last three, two, and one. Other side. Let's do it. Last three, two, and one. Ab twister next. I saved the cardio and the core for the end so we could really put our focus on those weights today. Here we go. Man, this still feels challenging. I can't live without your love for sure. And recover. Final tri set of the day. And we're going to go to a side plank, side crunch. Top arm goes up, top leg goes up. Modification or option, bottom knee goes down. Last three, two, and one. Other side, and I'm gonna flip it so I can still see your beautiful face. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Ha! Ah, mountain climbers are next. This round, we pause on every third rep. Knee goes straight in. Engage your core. Three, two, hold. Three, two, hold. And recover. Wow, okay. Back to the side planks. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Other side. Wow, okay. Hip off. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Wow. Okay, this time we have atomic mountain climbers. So I want you to twist the knee towards the opposite elbow. A little twist underneath getting those obliques involved. Let's go. No pause, just rep it out. Twist, twist. Last three, two, 
in one. This is it, y'all. Final round. I don't have very many words to say right now because I am right there with you. This is hard, all right? <laughs> this is really hard. Let's finish it out with good form. Final round. Every exercise is only 20 seconds. And I know we, you and I, can do anything for that amount of time. And we are done with this side. On to the next. About one minute remaining. Bring it up. And let's go. Last three, two, and one. Mountain climbers, final round. This time, knees just straight in. Go at your own pace. I really want you to feel those abs fire up. Shoulders, of course, are working too. And let's go. Keep those hips level. Tuck your chin, pull high pony. Feel your lower abs. Really work here. I know those shoulders are on fire. We hold in three, two, one, just hold 10 seconds. Last three, two, and one. Release the knees, send the hips back. We are done. High five. Wow, wow, wow. Y'all, I remembered to get my watch today. And let's bring it forward. Stretch out those abs, start on the forearms. My heart rate was higher than intentional cardio that I do outside of here. So there's that. <laughs> oh, my heart rate right now is about 153. I glanced down at one point, I was at 165. That was when we had the dumbbells. So put in some work. I don't need the calories that I burn because you and I are different. I normally just have a higher heart rate than most. Um, I just know this because of working group fitness and having the heart rate monitors on, comparing it to everyone else. And I know we're all working very hard. So calories burn, I will tell you that 421 right now. Let's take it side to side. And then two puppy pose. But again, these devices around the heart and around the wrist they're not 100% accurate, but you know, it's a good, good way to measure intensity. But also I could tell, I don't know about you, during some points of the workout when I am, I can't talk to you. I know I'm working pretty hard. <laughs> I have to limit the cues. Oh, okay. Let's get those hip flexors. We hit your glutes and your quads quite a bit today. You will work a little bit of your hamstrings as well when you go into those lunges and squats, but it really, especially that first squat that we did, dumbbell front squat, really hones in on those quads. And take it to the other side. And we're just gonna take a seat on the ground because we worked too hard to stand just yet. Okay, let's take it one side. Opposite arm just reaches up and over. Feel a nice stretch along the side body. Open up. Look up. And when you're ready, let's do the other side. Nice, let's take it center. Nice, easy seat. Clasp the hands behind the back, and if you can't, I just want you to grab a hold of the back of the shirt and just open up, start to look up. Draw shoulder blades together. Look up, oh, you can take the neck side to side. They feel pretty good. And release, inhale, arms reach overhead. On the exhale, open up. Twice more, inhale up. Exhale, open. Last time, inhale up and exhale. 
open. I'll link some additional stretching below. But y'all, great work today. That one was super tough, so I'm so proud that you made it this far. As long as you tried your best, that is what matters most. Remember, you can up the intensity by increasing the weight, increasing the number of what, or reps, increasing the pace during the cardio, and vice versa. If it becomes too much at any point, decrease the weight, decrease the pace. You can also just hit that pause button to take a longer break than 10 seconds and meet me back on your mat. Typically, I don't have a lot of Tabata, so this is super fun. Let me know how you like this in the comments below and what you would like to see more of. Most importantly, y'all, just remember, you rock and have an amazing rest of the day.